We go into Kindle Care. Once I say that, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about because we did a whole show on the mother who came to pick up her baby. And the baby had boop boop on the baby. And, you know, we pointed out a few things. At first, we was like, well, you should have brought extra clothes. And you said that you bought extra clothes and all that flash shit right here. Well, I think this baby finna sue somebody in the goddamn street. Go ahead, baby. Demeaning and yeah. embarrassing. That's how the mom of that little girl sums up what happened here. The teacher responsible is off the job. There could be more fallout for both her and the daycare center. Look at this. She's been sitting in feces all day. Denise Bradley was livid and made sure staffers at Kinder Care in Dearborn knew it. So you telling me she got di she had diapers too? She had diapers too? She, had she diapers. went to pick up her three-year-old daughter Sophie Monday. Aww. And I just there, I smelt something. Only to find out she had an accident and was left in her soiled clothes. So I lifted mm -hmm. up her dress just to see a little bit, maybe, you know, something was there. And that's when I saw that she was covered in feces down her the back of her leg. Um, she did not have any underwear on. Then he stormed back inside where staffers apologized for what happened and told her they could not clean Sophie up because she did not have a change of clothes. Mm, and the issue was she actually did have three clean outfits. They just didn't give her anything. Thank you for being such a good mother, bringing your child some extra clothes that you're supposed to um, when they go to the daycare. And I think in kindergarten and at least the first grade, you got to bring like an extra outfit and stuff. Go, go ahead, or man. bother to call Denise when it happened. Kinder Care says the incident does not reflect their values. And the teacher who left Sophie in feces filled clothes has been fired. But they she done fired of it. That's he's not the only one who won't be stepping foot back inside Kinder Care. And that night, I got a message saying that we were banned from the center. <laughs> they are banned the baby out here. You can't come back, sugar. And from all nope. locations. Oh, Kinder okay. Care said in a statement, said although that. we initially hoped to work through this issue and retain Miss Bradley and her daughter, we came to the conclusion that we would be unable to do so after Miss Bradley yelled at center staff and refused to follow our policy of not filming in our centers a policy designed to protect the privacy of the children in our care. Mm. They got a policy. They got a policy, so they do got the right. They do got, hell, <laughs> without the policy, they have the right to, 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 to not accept your service no more because it's not a union. Like, like on a job, your ass can get fired. You can get fired from spending your money at a place. Um, well, you can get let go. Um, we don't need you around here. Um, don't pull up back around here. Not the name one of our facilities. And we might put a restraining order on your ass. Say, Sugar Land, Texas in the house. I made it a point to not record any other children. To have the cameras rolling was for my daughter's protection, my protection, and because they have lied. My behavior that day was out of frustration. I can believe that. I can, I can, I can, I can believe that right there. It was out of frustration because it any parent would be frustrated. They come around and their child stank when their child normally don't be stank. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Annette for the for the for the twenty dollar cash shop. Say from the little la la section. That's what's up. I thank you for that right there. Any thank parent you. in that situation would want to know what happened. Yeah, Denise yeah. believes she and her daughter were banned because she posted video of the incident on social media. Yes, yes, she was banned because you po you recorded them, which they don't allow recording for the safety of other children and stuff like that. And you upload it as you should. Go ahead. To her million plus followers. She's a social media in. Boy, I ain't know she had a million followers on TikTok out here and he got into. Oh, no. No. I think somebody. I think somebody in the comment section that said that sh she's a TikToker, but I didn't know it was 1.6 million. That's influencer what's up. and activist and is now considering and legal activist? action against Kinder Care. You better call Ben Crump. <laughs> Kinder Care released a statement which reads in part, the teacher involved in this incident is no longer an employee of Kinder Care. Oh, we reported this to state licensing and fully support their investigation. We're also taking the extra step on retraining our teachers on how to best support children when a bathroom accident happens. In Dearborn, I'm Randy Wembley, and this is the end. This is the end. L listen, listen. That baby got, um... She, she's an activist too, right? A social media, that them an influencer, some fly shit like that right there too. 
Ooh, y'all in trouble. Shout out to KD for the $5 super chat. Say, Pastor, this is Dearborn, Mississippi. De Dearborn. I heard that name before. The Dearborn Heights. That's where they did that cigarette heist at. Um, the dear boy, um, the mayor called the chief, the chief called the deputy chief, the deputy chief just chewed my ass off. She ain't got any bit of a left, don't you? Um, um, the dear boy heist. Damn it. Can somebody, what movie was that? He say they don't care for dark and hue individuals. Say very segregated area. Say check out Henry Ford for some background. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so they like that. Oh, okay. Say Ben Crump not taking that case. No big score in Kindle Kids and Kindle Care. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Miss, I, there, there you go. Um, Beverly Hills Cops. Yeah. Did, damn it, the dear boy hijacked with the cigarette um trail and shit like that right there. Yeah. Boy, that's Beverly Hills Cop right there. I, damn it, I knew... I knew that. I knew that word. I knew that um, um town, city, state, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but did she take care? Wait, wait, wait. What? But did she take her out of the daycare still covered in poop? I don't know because they did not point out whether she bathed the child there. I have no idea. And shout out to Eddie Murphy. That's what's up. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. Low notice. They, they banned her, right? They banned her. Do y'all know, in my mind, she was going to keep her child there. In my mind, she was going to keep her child there. Say, Kendall Care in Jersey, too. Oh, so these people bad out here in these streets. The company's bad. The company that they keep is bad out here in the house. Then listen, if your child have a problem, you better record something. Record, record, record. Upload, upload, upload with it. I know, I know, but Willie, everything ain't made for the internet. Man, make it for the internet. Record that shit so we can see exactly what's going on out here in the street. Because like, because like her, if she did not record it, we would not know some of the things that a lot of these daycare providers is doing and the mishaps that happens. Now, it's not saying that everybody that's in the daycare at that daycare is bad people. That's why they just fire the one who should have handled the business so they can take, um, um, so they can remove the accountability somewhat off of them. But when you hire somebody, the accountability, yeah, the accountability is still on you because that's your employee. But you can break it just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? When you fire them, you got to let it go. I ain't got to scream. Dearborn and Dearborn Heights, Michigan is, is two different cities, and they are not. Detroit also, Dearborn has the largest population of Arabs in America. I didn't know that there was a Dearborn and a Dearborn Heights. No, 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 no. The only reason I pointed out the Dearborn Heights thing, or the uh, Heights, Heights, I said Heights. I didn't know that there was a Dearborn Heights, or did I know it? I was saying hikes. Or maybe in the movie, they were saying Dearborn Hikes. Like heights, like how you spelled it. I was saying a heist, like a like a bank heist, shit like that right there. My bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't even know, but when I heard the word Dearborn, I knew I heard it and had to do with Michigan or Mississippi. Michigan, that's what's up. Detroit, it's somewhere around there. I know, I know what I'm talking about. But here you go, look, 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 look. Million plus followers. She's a social media influencer and activist. She's an activist. Y'all in trouble with these activists out here and they got them screen. Just be careful. Make sure that y'all just clean up. L -l listen, listen, listen. Typically, people who work, hell, hey, <laughs> people who don't work will leave their child there for the whole 12 hours. And they're going to drop their child off at 12, don't pick their child up until 12. Your child, three months. <laughs> That's what's up. We ain't trying to be bothered with these little bad children. But um, typically, the working class will be picking up the children like three um, between 3.30 and 6 o'clock. So to all my daycare providers, my daycare workers, and shit like that right there, um, you say you confusing everybody, Pastor. No, no, no. I got confused my goddamn self, so I was trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But l -l 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 listen, make sure the children is clean no later than like 3.20. 
Go around the room, check all the churn, smell them, do everything that y'all got to do. Hell, and sometimes you gotta, you gotta put these little babies on deodorant. I know, I know, their mamas don't do that right now, but their mamas don't know how stank that their babies be. And hell, sometimes they do know how stank their babies be. Say, I'm an activist. Say, only on STD Friday. I appreciate that right now. So listen, 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 listen. Clean up the churn before 3:30. And you won't have any goddamn problem. Moving right along. Moving right along.